And while it's very important to recognize the annual events, um, it's also a great time to ask yourself, how do you help out Mother Earth on a daily basis, right? A local exactly. winery goes above and beyond every single day. Peggy Fiendaka is the co-owner of LDB Winery, and you're going to share some of your green efforts with us. I am. I'm excited about that because we were very intentional when we located our vineyard, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about how do we pr protect the earth. Right. And so your vineyard is located about three and a half hours away, but you also have a tasting room in Old Town, which we'll get to. But tell us a little bit about the land and how you went about uh, actually choosing this area. So like I said, from day one, we were concerned about the water mm -hmm. because uh, actually people don't realize grape growing is a low water use crop. Oh, okay. So it's actually coming back to the desert. When you look at the history, it was actually from Persia. Oh, wow. It was in the desert. So it's a low water use crop. So we wanted to have quality water um, and we wanted to manage that water effectively so water was important the soils were important the um, climate of our area was important when we selected our vineyard and then so tell us a little bit about how you monitor the water usage well, we do drip irrigation, mm -hmm. which is different than a lot of vineyards because they depend on Mother Nature to give them the water. But we love drip irrigation because we can control the amount yeah. of water for every single plant. That's really important. And we can turn it off, turn it on when we need it. So it's very sophisticated. So on top of properly uh, nurturing the soils, you also never add any enhancements to your wines and I think this was something I found fascinating I had no idea some people do this yeah so we even take that sustainability ethic into the winery so we want to have clean wines as best we can so we don't do fining mm -hmm. which is the finishing of the wine to make it look really pretty and shiny like the glasses of wine that I have here we do a handcrafted kind of process instead of putting additives like fish bladders and and uh, eggs and right. things like that, proteins to attract those sediments, we do what's called racking. Every mm -hmm. 45 days we empty out the barrels because the sediment falls to the bottom and we naturally take out that sediment. So you're going to share some ideas with us on how we can do what you do yeah. at home, just kind of taking the idea. Well, number one, be intentional about trying to do something a little bit every single day. Okay. So I mean, Bring your grocery bags. Yes. Don't use the grocery bags. Go to uh, the farmer's market to get your vegetables so they don't have to go travel long distances. Use um, a, a disposable or, or bring along uh, recyclable silverware. And even the straws plastics. are really big yes, right now. The metal exactly. straws and you just get a little um, cleaner for yep, them. Exactly. Be intentional about your savings. These are great tips. I'm so thankful that I actually already do some of these, and when I forget my grocery bags, I go running back out and get them. But tell us a little bit about the wines that you specialize in and then where we can find you. We've got you about 30 bet. seconds. We uh, are in Old Town Scottsdale by the waterfront, just west of um, Scottsdale Road, south okay. of Camelback, and we specialize in Rhone varietals. And these are amazing, so you have to check out the tasting room. Please now. do. Peggy, thank you so much. That was wonderful. And the wine is wonderful, and let me tell you, I know a little bit about wine. So. Uh, Okay. Okay.